Hey y'all, what's that girl Shay? Just coming in one time. Um, you know how I told y'all I get my videos. Sometimes I hear myself talking to y'all about what I'm doing right now, and that's how I get my messages for my videos. If I don't hear no message, I don't do no video. I just post. But um, I got a, a message for you. You know, I've been talking about um codependency. And breaking negative cycles and that codependency is an unhealthy attachment to someone or something. And if you find yourself being codependent, there's a, a good chance that the person that you're, in, you're codependent on is codependent upon you too. And so I just want to tell you that it's a lot of people going to be unhappy when you get self-love. And you start taking a stand for yourself and you start to do what makes you happy. You know why? Because it's a lot of people out here using people. It's a lot of people out here using you for what you can do for them. And when you take a stand and when you develop self-love and you start saying, hey, hold on. You got some unrequited love here. Hold on. Look like I'm doing all the giving. Hold on. You getting upset because I want to do what's best for me. You getting upset because I have a good relationship. You getting mad because I done found somebody that made me happy. And you have a problem with that. Hold on now. Let me let me step take a step back and start evaluating the people in my life and why they're here. So when you take a stand for yourself, it's a lot of people don't want you to do that. It's a lot of people won't be able to manipulate you. Like they do now. They won't have their strings. They won't be able to pull your strings like they're pulling your strings. Because a lot of times when you take a stand for yourself, it's going to cut them out. And they know that. So they don't want you to see your value. They don't want you to see your worth. Because they know that when you see your worth, it's a big chance that you're going to get rid of them. So think about who you have in your life. And think about, are you really doing what you want to do? Or are you doing it because that's what they want you to do? And if you do what you really want to do, they're going to have a problem with it. And it's making you better. They're going to have a problem with your growth. You deciding to draw a line in the sand and say, this is what I want for my life now. You can't use me no more. So do some evaluating. It's going to be a lot of but it don't matter. It's okay. It's okay that they're going to have a problem with you now because them being in your life ain't helping you anyway if you decide that you want to do what's best for you and they have a problem with it and they got some negative say and they want, they want to talk you out of your, good, your goodness and talk you out of your blessings because they can't use you no more. So think about when people try to, you know, tell you, no, I don't think you should do that. I don't think you should. Why not? Why not? Is it, is it going to make me have to cut you off? Do what's best for you and see. Do what's best for you. Take a stand and learn how to say no and see who's still standing. See who's left. See who's happy for you. That'll tell you everything you need to know. But anyway. I just wanted to get that out of my spirit, and I hope it helped you today. God bless you.